Hello, Algebra 2 students. We're going to start Section 2-5, Scatter Plots and Lines of Regression. Regression. Um, we can use scatter plots and um, prediction equations, and we can model data using lines of regression. I'm just going to introduce to you scatter plots in this video. The rest of the section we're going to have to do in class because you're going to need to use your graphing calculator. So scatter plots. So a scatter plot is a graph showing paired data values as points. So we have paired data values. We're going to plot them on a graph, and it'll show a scatter plot. So here's a scatter plot, and this scatter plot has a positive trend. So two data sets have a positive relationship when their data values increase or decrease together. So notice our x values as they go up, the y values go up as well. So we have a positive um, a positive trend. And a negative trend then, when two data sets have a negative relationship, when the data values in one set increase as the other values decrease. So notice here our x values are going up, the y values are going down. We can see that trend. And then the third option is no trend at all. So two data sets have no relationship when there is no positive or no negative relationship. So I'm sure you could think of all of these, or look at all of these and kind of think of situations in which as one value goes up, the other value goes up as well in um, a real life situation. Can you think of another um, situation in real life where you have a negative trend where something goes up, um, the, other, um, the other value goes down? And then you can also think of something that has no trend at all. So for example, like if the more hamburgers you eat, the better grade you're going to get in algebra 2. That has no, um, no trend at all, no relationship. So here is our, the next um, example. We can do this one together. Um, points scored in the Super Bowl between 1990 through 95. Um, I, I was five and between the ages when I was five and ten. So winning team and losing team scores. So we're going to go ahead and plot these together and see if there's any correlation. So you can go ahead and plot them really quick if you want to on your, in your notebook. And this is the graph that I made. All right. So go ahead and pause the video and do that and tell me if there's a correlation. So here you can see there really is no correlation. Our points are kind of all over the place. Um, if we had, oh yeah. So they're kind of all over the place. There's no, I mean, I guess if we wanted to see if there was more of a trend, we would continue on um, to more years and to get more data points to see if there really was a trend. But these are all over the place. There's no real distinct line that we can make between our data set to see if it was positive or negative. But that's all I have for you to introduce scatter plots, um, and we'll do the rest of this section in class over regressions. All right, see you later.